Welcome back to Mediclass. Lipoma. What is a lipoma? It is a slow-growing soft tissue neoplasm composed of mature fat cells. It is also called as a universal tumor as it occurs anywhere in the body where fat is present. What are the causes? Idiopathic and genetic. Let's move on to the classification. It is divided into superficial type and diffuse type. The superficial type is single and lobulated painless lesion. It can have a sessile or pedunculated base and it is well encapsulated. This is the superficial type. The diffuse type affects the deeper tissues. It has slight surface elevation and the differential diagnosis for this can be cyst. This is the diffuse type of lipoma. Moving on to the etiology. As we've discussed earlier, idiopathic where the cause is unknown and genetic lipomas can run into families let's see the etiology of the oral cavity lipoma idiopathic genetic and trauma lipomas can occur after traumatic injury example cheek biting let's move on to the characteristics it grows particularly from buccal fat it is slow growing and soft to touch it may be pedunculated it can be a yellowish swelling it is asymptomatic unless associated with trauma and it is sometimes painful lipomas can be painful if they grow and press on the nearby nerve or if they contain lot of blood vessels let's see the location lipomas rarely occur in oral cavity the location in oral cavity are buccal mucosa gingiva buccal and labial folds and floor of the mouth the most common location of lipoma is found in the subcutaneous tissue of the neck let's see the prevalence it doesn't have any gender predilection lipomas is seen mostly in adults Mostly it occurs between the age of 40 to 60 years and it is very rare in children. Let's move on to the histology. It contains mature adipocytes possibly admixed with collagen like streaks. It is often well demarcated from the surrounding connective tissue. The cells of lipoma differ metabolically from natural fat cells even though they are histologically similar. Differential diagnosis granular cell tumor traumatic fibroma mucosal neurofibromas and cysts diagnosis the diagnosis of lipoma can be done with clinical examination it is freely mobile beneath the skin the size is usually less than 3 cm at the time of diagnosis and it can go up to 5 to 6 cm over a period of years it is soft to palpate The slip sign is positive. When you press on a lipoma, it freely slips under the skin. This is known as slip sign and dimpling sign. When you hold the lipoma with two fingers and press it, it may create a dimple. This is known as dimpling sign. Let's move on to the treatment. The conservative approach for lipoma is local excision. Most microscopic variants do not affect the prognosis. The chances of recurrence of oral lipomas are less. Let's see what are the associated disorders and syndromes. Neurofibromatosis, Gardner syndrome, multiple family lipomatosis, and encephalocraniocutaneous lipomatosis. Let's see the recurrence rate. The recurrence rate is rare in the oral and maxillofacial region. The intramuscular lipomas have higher recurrence rate because of their infiltrative growth pattern. Let's see the complications. Lipoma which are present in the oral cavity have very rare chances of turning into malignancy. Liposarcoma is one of the complication of the retroperitoneal lipoma present in the thigh region. Let's see what are the variations of lipoma. These variations derive their names from the location and the cells that are present along with lipoma. namely myelolipoma adenolipoma perineurolipoma angiolipoma myxelipoma spindle cell lipoma 
pleomorphic lipoma, myolipoma. Let's see what are the rare facts of lipoma. First oral lesion was described by Rox in 1948 and it was referred to as yellow epilus. It is rare in children. It rarely gives rise to transillumination. It rarely gets infected. The diffuse type is rare and lipoma rarely turns into malignancy. You can find the link to the MCQs for this topic in the description of this video. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for updates regarding our new videos. See you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy and have an amazing week.